In this next segment, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, drain pods from a node if you need to do node maintenance, for example. Um, the scheduler that I'm using, and you can choose different Kubernetes schedules, you can even write your own, but the one that I'm using tends to spread pods evenly across uh, the nodes to even out the load, um, which is great unless you need to take one of those nodes down, then the chance of a pod not running on any particular node is very low. So there is um, utilities to handle that in Kubernetes, and so I'll show you. First thing we're going to do is deploy an app. It's the same thing that I've done in previous segments. If you haven't seen those, you can go back in the playlist and see. Um, but this basically just creates a deployment uh, with name demo running this image with two replicas. And as you can see, those replicas got scheduled on two different nodes here. So, and we can do that on the command line too. See that uh, you know the the two the two pods are running on two different nodes. So this is a special command: kube control drain. If you pass it the name of a node. It will um, cordon the node, which it makes it unschedulable in the Kubernetes schedule, uh, scheduler. So no new pods are going to be scheduled to this. And then it just deletes any pods running on the, um, on the node. This assumes that all the pods running on that node are, part, uh, are spawned by replica sets. When the pods are deleted, the replica, the replica set immediately responds by rescheduling the deleted pod somewhere else. And because node one has been cordoned, it's not available for scheduling. So the new node gets rescheduled onto my only other node, node two. So if we look at it now, all, all pods are on node two. Now, now that nothing's running on node one, we can update the software, we can reboot it, we can do whatever we need to do. Whenever node one is ready to rejoin, you can use this command, uncordon, which marks it as schedule, which marks the node as schedulable in the Kubernetes scheduler again. Now, there's no automatic rebalance that happens when the node comes back on. New pods will likely be scheduled to it um, since it doesn't have any, and it's li and it's likely that all the other nodes have containers running already. Um, but if you want to force a rebalance right now, there's ways of doing this that are in development, none of them released yet. But one way to do it now is to uh, scale your deployment down and then scale it back up. And that will cause the pods to be deleted and then recreated. And when they get recreated, they get rescheduled and now they're on separate nodes again. So we do that and so we've just, um, you know, ideally these nodes are fronted by a service. And so as the pods are moving around behind the scenes, the service never goes down and there's no downtime for the end user. 